Baruch Shechiyonu V'Kimonu V'Giyonu L'Azman Hazeh to the learning of Masech the Sukkah in the Mishnah Yomis cycle Be'ezus Hashem Yisbach once again uh, with great kindness the Fisher family is sponsoring the Shir L'Ilin Nishmas Basi Bas Rabbit Shlomo Ben Avram Alevi Peral Bas Ruvain Yol Klugman and family for Gesund Parnasa and everything wonderful and also L'Ilin uh, Nishmas Rabbi Rachmiel Gershon Ben Reb Tzvi Yehuda and L'Fu Shalema for Eliyom Moshe Ben Chaya Sara and the schus of Masech the Sukkah, we should talk to the to the kaiches of Sukkah of a Yisa Ach Sameach. We should always be happy. Sukkah she gvayil malam esrim amas. Sukkah that's higher than twenty amas psula. Now most people assume that the reason for this is because something that's high twenty amas leisholta ba'ena. Your eyes don't notice it. That's why a Korah a crossbeam of a mavi that's higher than 20 amas is possible because you don't see it. And the sukkah, which is supposed to remind you of the Ananiya covered, you, you have to notice it. However, that's not the Pasha reason why it's possible. The Pasha the reason is, is because the Rabbanan hold that the sukkah has to be a diras arag, a temporary abode. And a structure that's 20 amas high, which is about four stories, needs to be male, made with steel. It needs to be made permanent. And therefore it will be a diras keva, which according to the Rabbanan is possible. Rabbi Yudah disagrees. Rabbi Yudah says a sukkah should be a diras keva. So Rabbi Yudah machshi. Rabbi Yudah says that it's kosher. Everybody agrees with tvachim. If it's not high ten tvachim, that, if it's not high ten tvachim, about 40 inches, then it's a diras srucha. It's a rotten abode, and it's not good for a sukkah. If it doesn't have three walls, because we learn out that it says sukkah three times to teach us that it needs to be three walls, and the halach al-meshim I downgraded it to two walls and a tefak. But if it doesn't have three walls, it's no good. Or if the sun is more than the shade, the schach doesn't cover the majority of the area, so that the sun is more than the shade, psula. Sukkah yeshana, an old sukkah. Now this means a sukkah that was made not for the mitzvah of sukkahs. It was made for shade, to have a barbecue. But it wasn't made for a sukkah. Beishamai paisam. Beishamai says that's no good. It has to be made special to shame sukkah. Or Beisil machshim. Beisil says it's kosh. The Eze is sukkah yeshana. What's a sukkah yeshana? If it was made more than 30 days before Sukkot, so we assume you didn't make it for the Yom Tov. But even according to Beishamai, if you made it even on Hanukkah, but you made it for Sukkot, now even in the beginning of the year, everybody agrees that it's Kshay. Now, if you make your Sukkot under a tree, now that's a problem because a tree is schach puzzle because it's mechubel character. So if you make your sukkah under schach puzzle, then it's gilu also b'seich habayis. It's as if you made the sukkah under the roof of your house, and that's no good. Sukkah al gabi sukkah. Oh, this is an interesting case. What if you have a kosher sukkah on top of a kosher sukkah? So what's the din? So al yoyna kshere. The upper one is kosher. But but the bottom one is puzzle. The reason why the bottom one is puzzle is because we dash in, in the Pasik sukkah, schach echod schachas. That you can only have one covering of schach and not two coverings. So the bottom sukkah has two coverings of schach and therefore it's puzzle. However, everybody agrees that if the floor of the second sukkah was not strong and you wouldn't be able to stand in the top sukkah. So then it's not kosher. So then the bottom one is kosher. Everybody agrees with that. Rabbi Huda will tell us that even if the floor of the upper sukkah is good al yideat chak, it's good under duress, still the bottom sukkah is kosher. Because remember Rabbi Huda Lishitasa, he says the Taisis Yantip, that the sukkah has to be a dearest keva. If the floor of the upper one is only good, that's not a dearest keva. So then the upper one is not kosher, so then the lower one 
is kasha. And that's what Yehuda says. Rabbi Yehuda Aimer, if the people can't use the up one, even if they could use it al yadeh chak, but they can't use it uh, easily, so it's not a dearest keva, which according to Rabbi Yehuda means the upper one is not kosher, then not tachtayin kosher, because then it's not under two schak koshers. So then the upper one, the lower one is kosher. Uh, we really want to thank everybody for joining us on this marathon evening. Remember, this week's share is at 8.50, and uh, I'll be back and forth weaving in, in and out, sometimes here in Lakewood, sometimes in the Catskills. Uh, and uh, share is this week at 8.50. If anybody wants to sponsor the Chumash share this week, 718-916-3100, rmmwsi at aol.com. Thank you very much for joining us and have a good Tavach.